With the previous version of this deck, I felt that Priest was pretty much unwinnable. So I'm not really looking forward to this, but I guess the Highlander cards help a lot against Priest. I think I do play the Ganaric here, even with an Ankar in hand. It's a bit awkward, though. Okay, we'd like to see that card. Am I about to play a 110 here? Probably not. By not attacking here, I'm delaying this Ankar for a really long time. But I think that's fine. Probably. Rest Seed Raider is pretty good here, but I think I want to buff it with the Armadillo. I was actually originally planning on just trading this off in Hero Powering, but having the 2-2 in play is kind of nice. As long as he doesn't hit Power Word Shield, I should be able to kill this guy pretty easily. Into the fray. Probably still just play the armadillo here. There's a very good chance he just can't deal with the 4-7, and it's gonna get really out of control. Pretty weak thought steal card. Hey, that's good to buff. Could play the Rusty Raider to protect my Armadillo a little bit. Like maybe he picked up an Execute from my deck. Or, I don't know, maybe somehow he can just deal 5 instead of 7. It also just puts a big thing in play, which is not to be underestimated. By blood, born again. Not sure if there are any random priest minions that would help him here. Hargath plus Ankar deals with this. Hey, that's a nice taunt minion. Man, this armadillo is popping off this game. Is there any reason I should trade into a 1-2? It's good against Apotheosis. My hand is big enough that I'm not sure this 4 damage really matters. And I've heard that Apotheosis is quite good in Priest right now. Interesting. Oh, just had to get it out of the way. Look at that sick positioning for me, by the way. Wait, can he still not kill the armadillo? Man, I'm starting to feel bad. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can protect my armadillo for another turn. 
I mean, I could... No, I guess even Risky Skipper off this would just kill my Armadillo. Let's just play the Scam card. Well, that's one way to do it. He already has to deal with this board, so there's no reason to commit the 8-8. Alright, that doesn't clear. I'm glad I didn't play the 8-8 here. Okay, we can still protect the guy. This is just a beautiful game of Hearthstone. I'm gonna feel kind of bad if he just, like, dies before I can play my giant minions. Hopefully he'll have a Plague of Death here. <laughs> oh shit, he buffed a Tomb Warden. Sick. That was a pretty good draw, huh? Now is the time. It was probably pretty reasonable to commit something to the board here. But also, look at my beautiful hand. I'm showing lethal here. Okay. He heals for quite a bit off that. Okay, fine. My armadillo still is giving my hand plus 10, plus 10 here. I guess I can play the 7 mana 18, 24. And then if he deals with it, I just have a Tomb Warden, which probably ends the game. Although his Galakrond now does kill two minions. So if he has, like, Galakrond and Plague of Death... just gives him a 3-6, right? Casual 7 or 8 turn Armegadillo. Paladin. I already have a one drop, so I'll toss the Sky, the Sky Raider. I'm kind of tempted to keep this removal because I feel like there's a good chance he's Murloc. Maybe Ramming Speed's not a keep anyway. I think I like Imprisoned Ganarg and Brawl though. Like, I would always keep the Ganarg, so it's just a matter of keeping Brawl or not. Okay. I have a very removal heavy hand. So I'm probably doing okay in this matchup. Is 
This 3-4 lines up really nicely against my Fiery War Axe, but I can just coin out Kargath and kill this. That does look like it's going to be the play. Doesn't look like I have much of a reason to use my weapon here. Powerful, but slow. I don't actually know if I want to give up my hero power, but this is kind of sick. Fuck it, let's see what we can get. Tank up. Hell yeah. The Fury of the Mountain is infinite armor. Kind of a weird mountain. That's a lot of stuff to deal with next turn. Tank up. Look at this beautiful 1-9. The Murloc Slayer. Oh, Kargath Prime. I see. Well, I probably don't quite need to play the Hippogriff yet. So we'll just play the slower card, the Bone Wraith. Does he have that 4-4 four, four that buffs everything? Not quite. This probably gets a brawl out of me. Right. Yeah, that's a pretty scary board he's got over there. Plus, I can tank up with the brawl. So sick. Casual 33 health. Next turn, let's see if we can make it 43. That's how Kargath Prime works, right? Oh, not active. Oh, that was off of his first, uh... I was off the fish flinger, sure. So yeah, he's not built around this card, it looks like. I admire this guy's persistence. I don't know, maybe he has some kind of crazy late game. I think I've seen Murlocs that play the Librum cards. Maybe I could still lose to a Lady Liadrin. It's very possible that my 10 damage should have gone face there, but then I wouldn't be at 48. That's a powerful minion. I really was not expecting to see him out there, if I'm being honest. But I don't think I'm in any danger of losing this game.
We'll hit with this while it still has targets. And then, like, we could develop a minion here, but what if we go over 60? Okay. Oh, he got true silver instead of the angling rod. It's probably not what he wanted when I'm at 61. Have to preserve our armor, so we'll go into the smaller one. This place is scary. Armadillo, you say? Well, I don't want to play it here. Because I want to sword and board this 4-2. And then if I play this for 6 mana, I can't tank up. And that's just not acceptable. Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. Okay, fine. I'll play it. That's a powerful minion. Well, I actually don't have lethal here. I think I'm pretty in danger of overthinking this turn, so let's make some attacks. I think I successfully avoided the danger here. Say what you will about my opponent, but he's a trooper. Yesterday I played a hand buff taunt warrior that was looking to take advantage of End of the Fray and Armigadillo with some of the new taunt cards that we got in Ashes of Outland. And that deck didn't perform up to my expectations. It seemed like it just wasn't unfair enough. So I thought today I would try a Highlander build because Zephyrus and Dragon Queen Alexstrasza are pretty unfair cards. So yesterday's build of the deck I went 8 and 10 with, and then with today's build of the deck, I went 8 and 10 again. So I guess the problem isn't necessarily the lack of Highlander cards, but maybe that just hand buffing taunts isn't that great. Seems like this deck gets outvalued by things like Priest and Highlander Mage, and taunts are pretty sad against Demon Hunter when they just play their Kane Sun Fury. But overall, with two different builds of the deck, I still had a 44% win rate. So there are maybe some tweaks you could make to the deck to get it over the 50% hurdle. Hippogriff is a card I wasn't playing originally, but actually felt reasonably strong in the Highlander build. Ramming speed was probably not a great inclusion. Battle Rage felt good in the non-Highlander, but kind of bad in the Highlander. Not sure which version of the deck is better. So there are a few changes you could make, but ultimately I think hand buffing taunts is not going to be as unfair as Demon Hunter or Enrage Warrior or as a Galakron deck. But maybe the secret is just make this a Galakron deck. Shield of Galakron is a taunt minion, and you can Corsair Cash into Ritual Chopper. So that's something I might try in the future. But at that point, I'm not sure how many taunt cards we really have room for in the deck. I'd have to play around with it. You could also try taking the deck in a more aggressive, less control-oriented direction. But I feel like at that point, you're just... Like, every change you make is just going to get you closer and closer to the Enrage Warrior that's already the best deck in the game. 
So at that point, you may as well just play that instead of hand buffing taunts. 